Hey Taurus, it's me Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. Let's see what the universe has for you, Taurus. High Priestess, the unknown, the subconscious. Oh, angels are saying you're looking for us to confirm your gut feeling. Okay, we could do that. There's money coming in, there's abundance coming in. Uh-uh, you're not supposed to give up or walk away. Yeah, look at that, King of Cups. Continue to do what you love to do. Right now, you can't see a way out. Oh, angels are saying for some of you guys, especially if this is related to business, I feel like you're in the red and you're trying to figure out, you know, should I sell the business or should I keep going? It looks like here, like, instinctually, I feel like you know you should keep going because the abundance will follow, right? Um this is the cut your losses. That's what I'm hearing. Should I cut my losses? Um, oh, okay. I feel like if you do cut your losses, though, you know, you're, you're going to regret it because you're going to feel like you gave up on a dream or something that brought you great joy. Oh, the problem is the money is not coming in quick enough. And as I did that, the eight of pentacles and the knight of pentacles were flipping around in my hand. They almost fell out. Okay. So, oh, angels just said, don't abandon your dream. I get it. I get it. I get it. There it is. The Knight of Cups. Angels are saying, fall back in love with this. That means, as an example, and it's going to be a wild example, if you opened a beauty supply store, when you selling lashes and hair and nails and all of that stuff, and sales are a little slow, but you opened it, you were excited. You was like, oh my God, this is gonna be so awesome. I'm gonna be, you know, we could set up this. That excitement, that's what you need to infuse back into the situation. That's what I'm getting from the Knight of um, Cups, right? You need to infuse love and light energy back into this, into this business venture, business situation. Look, there it is. Queen of Pentacles, Four of Wands, ooh. I have to read this as a, a, a relationship as well as what, what, I, what I was told. Look, you got the Knight of the Pentacles twice. You're going to reach your goal. You are. Um, you don't know what to do. You're at a crossroad. But here's the confirmation right there. Keep going. I also feel like with the eight of swords, everybody's telling you not just your mind and yourself like, oh, well, you know, I don't want to go bankrupt with this business, but I don't know what else to do. Everybody's like, sell, 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 get rid of it, blah, blah, blah. No, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you do need to keep going. Now we'll tell you this because it came when I was reading here. I heard if you could take your business online, put it online, create a new sales channel. And that just means, you know, if you have a brick and mortar, if you have a physical store, physical location, physical business, um, that's one sales stream. Another sales stream is um, online, whether you create a website, whether you put it on Facebook Marketplace, eBay, Amazon, whatever have you. I feel like that's the second stream of income, which is going to increase your revenue income and get you to your financial goal just a little bit quicker. Knight of Pentacles says it's going to take some time, right? Not only that, but the High Priestess and the Knight of Cups, I promise you, Taurus, you feel it in your gut. You know you're not supposed to give up on this, okay? Not only that, but this Empress here with the Four of Wands, the Empress represents growth, creativity, money, blessings, abundance. She is over all of that stuff. So the Empress is almost like your mother comforting you saying, baby, what you need? Let me get you something to eat. You tired? It's almost like that energy that says, baby, just rest a minute. I got you. I'm going to take care of you. Then you keep going. So I feel like that's kind of like an undertone here, Taurus, that, yeah, maybe you just need to take a small break and have somebody love on you if you're lucky enough to have that person in your life. Maybe it's a trip home, a visit home, and maybe it's some of mama's Sunday cooking, right? I do kind of feel like your mother specifically or a maternal figure 
is going to be, help you help to infuse that beautiful loving maternal energy back in you to help you take this thing and go the distance with this thing the two of wands and the five of swords yeah this is feeling defeated two of sword two of um, wands is like okay i don't know i should i shut down or keep it open right so i feel again mentally mentally you're like every every logical thought you has that you have says close this down subconsciously we're saying to you keep going keep loving it keep striving for your end goal and and the reason why you started this thing in the first place now by the way yeah this could have everything to do with business career job it could also have to, to, to do with school or having kids or getting married or as in keep going keep bring love back into the situation infuse it with that beautiful energetic enthusiasm that's what's going to get you across the finish line now with with you know angels are saying yeah you have to read this in a romantic way i feel like subconsciously um love is brewing i feel like there's love around you right somebody is in love with you or has emotions or have developed emotions for you but they're keeping them below the surface they're not exposing them this person could be younger than you they could be a capricorn or they could be a virgo i know you're taurus these are earth signs this person has a lot in common with you you guys have a lot in common you have the same ambitions you have the same goals hell you may be in literally the same industry okay this person's a little younger than you they're a little bit more maybe inexperienced but i do feel like you may have somebody around you who's watching you as you're growing and watching you as you're striving to get to your end goal and end deter um end destination the empress with the four of wands in a romantic reading kind of says um I feel like you guys are building a strong relationship and foundation that could one day lead to marriage. Whatever it is that you're going through now, whether it's work, family, friends, whatever, it's almost like right now that is taking the priority, right? That's taking most of your attention because you don't know what to do, where to go, or how to do it. But angels are saying with the King of Cups and also the um, chariot here, I feel like your love, your energy is going to infuse this thing. The King of Cups is that mature, unconditional, masculine love that basically says, Mama here is going to bake you some biscuits and bake, make you some pie. Daddy here is going to give you all of the advice that you need to help you succeed and help you move forward. So this, the, you know, the King of Cups feels like that maternal, uh, excuse me, paternal masculine figure who loves you so much and who's also going to help and to support you, support, move you, support you to move forward. So it really does feel like in all honesty, Taurus, you need your family right now, whether it's your mom, your dad, brother, sister, twin brother, twin sister. I feel like you need the support of your family, your tribe, your, your, um, your people to help hold you up long enough for you to get your mojo back and then you can move yourself forward um angels are saying be careful of secluding and and being in solitude that is going to be dangerous for you because i feel like that's where all those negative thoughts give up give up forget about it do something else like this is not going to work be careful of isolating yourself taurus and with that knight of pentacles yeah the money is going to continue to come in I feel like again with the second night on the table that's just another stream of income and real realistically again maybe it's your mom or your dad who who says to you well son why don't you just put it on hold and start something else and then maybe the second thing you start you can funnel customers over into the first thing an example of that is yeah the beauty supply right store well, maybe you put that on hold and go work in a salon. And then while you're working in the salon, you can start to talk to customers and clients about your beauty supply store and route them over. Just an example. Cancer, Pisces, Capricorn, um, Virgo, Taurus and Libra, 
Scorpio, Cancer, Virgo. A lot of earth energy on this table. Um, and I feel like, Taurus, you're being practical. I hope you are. I hope you're being practical. I hope your um, angels are saying it feels like you guys are doing everything yourself. And whether it's your family or just regular networking in this industry, in this field, I feel like the support of others is vital in this situation, Taurus. All right, angel answers. What do we have? Improving health. That's your mental health. This is my mental health card, by the way. That's your mental health. Um, angels just said some of you guys can't see your way out of this situation. Okay. Confirmation. Yes. Is it going to work? Yes, it is. But here's the thing, and this is a strong message for you, Taurus. It's not going to work if you don't think it will. Because your belief, the energy that you infuse in whatever this is, is, is like gasoline to a car. Car is not going to move without gasoline or petroleum inside of it. It's not. So again, I don't know what you're going to have to do to get yourself out of this mental imprisonment, but angels are saying do it quick. And again, I feel like interacting with family members, friends, people who you really trust is going to help to come in and rescue you from that cluttery mental space. Compromise. Now, what I just heard is this Taurus stubbornness. No, I could do it myself. It'll be okay. I just got to keep going. Yeah, that's, that's the, you need help. You need the help of a community. Let's uh, look. Opportunity, no. Yeah, that mentality, I could do it all myself. I think it's what's hurting you. Remain positive. All right, my lovely Taurus. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I love you. Bye.